come over here and take a look. <laughs> what you did? You made me go, oh, uh, which we call it again? Anime? You think like you dread, Icy? What you did? Icy, you, you, what did you get dreads? Hey, Richie, you like you finna snitch in this camera. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the light in there. You like you finna tell some shit. Yeah. How'd you do that? Uh, huh? How'd you do that? Uh, hey, detective, hey, well, before I talk, can I, can I get some KFC? I get some KFC. Look at, look at Richard. Look. Can I get some KFC? Uh, Richard, you got some white shit on your nose and shit. Uh, hey, that's hard. Hold on, That's man. hard. I gotta get that off. I don't want to see yeah, that. Yeah, that's hard. I'm jealous. Thank you, Richard. I'm jealous. You want that as a seven? Can't you do the black and, black and outline one, too? Don't you have the black and outline one? Uh, I have to go into detail. Because it's only going to let you a, a certain can you, color. Can you, sw- can you switch it? Like, say you record, say... And I said, oh, conspiracy theory or whatever, and then you switch it to that. Like, doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Like that. Oh, that's hard. All right, bet. Some be like, oh, pause. Which, all right, bet, bet. Like, well, was that a pause moment? Bet, yeah. Does the knob adjust Say slowly? G- like, you G- know, like G- in that's hard. Video. Say G- G- Say G- 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 Oh, shit. That's hard. He did a cut scene. Yeah, that's what I want. Shit, shit like that. Look, my dog getting better. Okay. I'm going ahead and cut lean. I've been looking at niggas podcasts and shit, but like, oh, I want to also do this and this and this, but I've been forgetting it's like just bro and you and fucking 30 niggas behind some podcasts who are fucking 21 years old, been fresh out of fucking yeah. tech school. So they've been learning this little shit. Oh, shit. We, we were using that. We was fucking with the settings before. At Grand. Yeah, but I didn't know how to work them. Like, Yo. Like smooth. Like, okay. Yeah, you bitches. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, yeah, you. Hey, what they finna do out there tonight? What, bro, what, uh, what does he got going on tonight? Saying. Saying season. Saying, Saying season. season. Oh, yeah, it is, because that shit hard out there. Oh. TV nerd, pussy ass nigga. What you heard? Fuck that, boy. Yo. Hey, I'm finna come on TV nerds. Monday? Bet, I need to get my shit together. Come on, y'all, shouldn't talk some shit. Think, nah, I think Kit Quest. Viewer discretion is advised. Who the fuck is Kid Quest? I'm harder than him in the rest. Fuck nigga. Say it to my chest. Fuck nigga. Say it to your best. With a hollow point. Point through your shit. I got hollow with me. Here, do you, bitch. That's all. We ain't gonna do shit. Yo, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Pick and Sasha Chronicles. I'm your host, Roof Roof. Roof is the dog. No. <laughs> Whoever got his headphones last had a big ass head, bitch. That bitch was expendable. That bitch bigger than, that bitch bigger than my fro. That bitch was expendable. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, man, shout out to my mom for the face mask, man. Y'all want some face masks? Get out my mama, man. Deborah Cole, get out my mama. My mama that shit is tough hard. Mama. I got I know, low key. You just covering your hand? Is that your face mask? Yes, yeah, sir. I don't know what it is. Same, same shit. <laughs> well, you got beads on your shit. You got, you got, that shit uh, still works. Still a mess. That's crazy. Well, you Look, you just this make shit. it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same shit 38's made out of. This raggedy ass <laughs> rolling chain. That rolling chain ragged as fuck, yeah? Oh, shit. Same shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, man, we in this motherfucker, man. Appreciate gang, everybody gang. for tuning in. Gang in this motherfucker, man. Got my co-host, Jit, as always, but he ain't in this bitch. Got Jit. Uncle Richard and this motherfucker. I am your host, Lilla Dilla aka Y'all Soldier Hating, aka Fat Boy Fresh, aka Shit. We with the shits, on the shits, bought the shits, for the shits. For real. We got Gabe in this motherfucker. Yep. Re- reappearing co hosting this motherfucker. Sour cream, I mean, what's, your, what's the best Pringles? I ain't gonna do sour cream buffing, but they got the new like buffalo style ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sir. Like pizza was cracked when pizza first dropped. When they had that pizza flavored one. The white, the white, the white, the white um, can. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Was that and these? Those were those were hitting. Hey man, if y'all hear the music going on behind us right now, um, saying has saying season going on here at the uh, Mr. Martian. He's got some pretty dope ass shit. Like the, yeah, uh, he got all the paintings for sale. Yeah, yeah all the oh, paintings for sale except for yeah. that Power Ranger one. He won't sell that motherfucker. He won't even budge. I even offered him a couple more dollars for. It. He won't even budge, but. He's got some, yeah, that with the Power Rangers, that bitch is beast, man. I'll actually put some of this shit up. Um, I'll put some of this shit up when I do see it. Man, man, I'm shit. Working. What you been up to, Uncle Richard? We back in the motherfucker. What you been up to, Uncle Richard? That boy got a good phone, bro. I'm jealous. Bro, good what? I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> My shit had an earthquake. What are you talking about? <laughs> that bitch been through some things. I'm saying. And okay. Don't nobody understand, man. Man. <laughs> man. 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 <laughs> that bitch so fucked up. All right. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't tripping about nothing. Hey, bro, I'm going to tell y'all the wildest shit I just seen, though. I just seen the motherfucker get mad at me about the truth. 
Because mm-hmm. the truth hurts. The truth hurts, yeah. Fact. Boy, a motherfucker got mad at me about the truth. Not a fabricated fictional lie. Not no bullshit. I just came up on a, on a slide. No shit. I just said, man, Lilla Dilla Lair feel like telling you motherfuckers nothing. Mm. Not even, I, it wasn't no soldier hate behind it, no nothing. It was just the truth. Couldn't handle it. And that had me thinking, the, man. The delivery, bro. But you know what? But that's my thing. I learned sometimes you don't. You can't always kill the messenger. Yeah. Because I'm delivering the right message. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, don't kill the messenger. Right. But I, I was thinking to myself, bro, is it some? Is it sometimes it's just like the the truth doesn't need to be spoken? Sometimes, but, yeah. Sometimes you take at, it to the grave. Sometimes you take shit to the grave. Bro. I'm gonna take my truth to the grave. But if somebody's doing some, I ain't gonna say foul. If somebody's just doing. I don't know. People don't like to hear the truth about themselves. Some people ain't got mirrors in their houses. Mm-hmm. Some motherfuckers ain't got mirrors, and they don't like to hear it. So, truth about it, shit. And Rich, like Richard, man, he's younger than me, but Richard is a very wise young nigga because he could say some shit. He knows some some shit might hurt a nigga feeling, but he just I choose not to, and that's part of being humble. Just be like, man, I, I. But I looked at a situation, and I was just like, bro, you know what I know? This is some flow ass shit you doing. So do people not want to acknowledge that what they're doing is wrong or just acknowledge that you're telling them something truthful like, damn, man, you, you might be right. Or Some people don't even like to hear. They don't want to hear from you. Yeah. Nigga don't want to hear from you. Because I'm too, because everybody think once you at a certain age, you hit a certain, you hit a certain point. Like, mm. why, why can't I absorb what you already learned in, in your slice, man, and quicker? Yeah. And, and he's spitting on that right there with um, Recipes XX and Tashion. Um even with Tupac, Tupac did so much and was doing so much at such a young age that people like what Tupac man. He only people gotta understand Tupac died what 24, 25? 25. He died. He died at a very young age. Yeah. XX and Tashion died at what twenty twenty one, a, a very young age. Twenty. Yeah, shit like that. That yeah. man died at a very young age. Yeah, look, Richard shit fucking up. He want to say oh, so Jay, my, He want my shit to fuck up. That's crazy. Yeah, he want my shit to fuck up when shit was looking clear. I was looking, I but he was looking near. I was looking close, close into the real. I was going to cry a couple little tears. I had died, yeah. Nigga smeared me. <laughs> Guess where? I came back like Jesus, reappeared me. Yeah, see me clearly. Bitch, I'm here. I'm not scared. I don't feel. I don't bond. I'm going to skate. You heard about that 239 group page that all the females be posting up and shit? Is your man. Is your man. <laughs> is your man. Is your man. They told the bitch, is your man. Is your man gay. See, well, and, no. and that's what I mean by the truth. This like, is... the truth is, some of them niggas ain't, hey, your man ain't told. The truth is, your man, some of y'all man ain't y'all man, man. That's the truth, man. Some of y'all man ain't y'all man. All, that's who we got to get back in. Uh, we got to get uh Pasha back in here. Pasha motherfucking I'll give my dog back in here. Because Jit was gonna be back in on point, but we gotta bring bring our co-host back in this motherfucker. I was trying to make sure we had it like every month, but trying to bring bro, it ain't too. It's been trying to bring other guests and shit on, bro, and trying to have people in. And you, but you not no guests. Like, gotta have my dog in this shit, man. Cause this shit take off. I love to have a part of this shit. This shit take off. I love to have a part of this shit. Fuck wrong with a bitch. Fuck wrong with a bitch. Came in that bitch. Lost my money. Lost my grip. Hold up. Wrong with a bitch. Uh. Wrong with a bitch. Uh. Wrong with a bitch. Yeah. Wrong with a bit. Thought my dress was dirty, but his shit looked musty. Thought my dress was ugly, but his shit looked crusty. <laughs> White folks shouldn't have dreads. That shit just looked nasty. White folks shouldn't have dreads. That shit that just looked nasty. A little doo doo. You know your mama. You probably know your daddy. <laughs> uh, like me, grew up without my pappy. Grew up with a stepdaddy. Gave me a bunch of step whoopings. <laughs> 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 Girl with a step that gave me a bunch of step, step whoopers. <laughs> I don't know, sir. Boy. But yeah, man, I, I, I had a just a uh, situation with my homeboy. And we were just talking, bro. He just felt like I was attacking him. And I can tell at a point he felt like I was attacking him by what I was saying. I'm like, bro, it's just the truth. And I feel as a friend, I'm not doing my due diligence as a friend by not keeping it real with you now. Now, I'm going against my morals and ethics, which is selling your soul mm-hmm. when you go against your morals and ethics. I ain't on that shit. That's why I tell a nigga, bro, selling your soul ain't necessarily selling your actual physical, here's my soul. Mm-hmm. If that was the case, we have a lot more millionaires and more famous people. Right. Yeah. Selling your soul is going to get you more as an ethics. And if I, my more as an ethics telling me to tell you the truth and not keeping it, and I'm not, I'm faking the funk, which is, I'm not keep, I'm not me. I'm not genuine to me. I'm going to toss and turn all night. Simple shit. I didn't keep true to who myself is. 
people don't think that. And then, like I say, they don't want to hear the truth because sometimes it's coming from you, the messenger. The message is good, but it's the messenger. Yep. Donald Trump say some real shit. It's just the messenger. It's just ah. Uh. I, mean, I feel like it's also come. So it comes out to like some people think you judging them. And it's like, fam, it's no judgment. You know, yeah, kill that shit. I got smoke. I'm just, I'm just telling you what it is. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like it's not. When judging, it comes bro. from friends, it, it, it's, it's um just, soldier hate. They think yeah. you soldier hating because it's your friend. But I'm, but I'm, re- but I'm really telling you some shit as far as know my boy, because you are my friend. I'd be telling you, because if you wasn't my friend, I would never even waste my breath on this shit. I'm telling but you. since you are my friend, I will tell you this. Because I'm a motherfucker. They don't see where where you coming from, your perspective, like you like you looking yeah. out, like you look really looking out. But at the same time, bro, like how y'all feel? People, bigger, the bro. few people tuning in, I appreciate all five of y'all motherfuckers tuning in. I'm one of them, <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, listen, but how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel that the truth should always be spoken? Like, and here's a here's a uh, scenario: guy dates a girl, <laughs> finds out girl gets pregnant, <laughs> baby's not his. Do you think she should have told him from the jump? And let him take that pain there, or will it be more pain eight, nine years down the line if he start feeling like, hey, it's a tall ass little girl, lay about my family, five, five. Hold on, little bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now he started looking at certain shit. Was it better off just to tell him that truth in the beginning? But you feel me? Or didn't let him find out later? Because Definitely I'm the, the type of nigga in that position, it'll hurt me, but I'm I'm the father. Like, I'm the at this point, I'm the father. At this point, I'm the daddy. Yeah. Now, if a real father want to come along, we accept this honesty. But at this point, I'm I'm the father, so and, and that's what I mean. There's certain scenarios where the truth got to be spoken, but sometimes like the truth ain't. Richard, where, where's the situation where you think like the truth? You ain't got to speak about it. Just like me, Richard, because you know my nickname around the family is I ruin dinner because I say some shit that everybody thinking. That's my that's my nickname, man. My look, I ruin dinner. My little brother gave me the nickname. <laughs> I ruined dinner because my problem is, bro, I can't sit there knowing you try my uncle Richard behind his back, and I be with this nigga three, four days out the fucking week, and we supposed to be family, and you sitting at the same table with us talking about this <coughs> and that, family this, and kicking the boat, nigga. Hold on, bro, you bat doing ass, nigga. I'm gonna say something about it right there. You owe this man money, bro. How the fuck we family? You talking about going on a trip and you owe this man? And I'm, I'm, I will ruin dinner per se. Mm. That's why I get the nickname. I ruin dinner. I ruined it. Me and my grandma start a whole blown argument in the middle of dinner because she knows she done did some foul shit. And I love my grandma to death. Please make us some more banana pudding. We'll never so just said we love you. I love my, but but my family members know. Me and my girl are getting into some shit. Why you gonna sit here and just ha ha and kick in my sister face when you just said the other day you don't like my sister them? Right. Nah, hell no. Nah. Why would rather you stay home? Right. And I'm that type of nigga because I, I hate it, but that's why I love the Damon Dash and the Jim Jones when I see them. They remind me of me. They wear their emotions on their sleeves. They are all they cancers as well. Cause I can't hide my emotions. If I don't fuck with you, I said you see me in a situation where I don't, I've, I got to clear the air right here and there. Cause I can't even, I, can, I don't see myself in this room no more. With, with me, how the hell I'm standing in the grocery store with you and I know I'm beefing? It's gonna turn to Stone Cold and Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> I, bruh, I was watching that two weeks ago. I seen it coming down my timeline, yeah. Jigbo. That would make me think about it. But bro, oh, has there ever been man. a certain scenario where you feel maybe I don't need to speak on this? Maybe I need to let it go. Cause we done seen Junior walk around for years and we know that ain't Grandpa Earl's son. Junior ain't motherfucking Junior. <laughs> when it's too far down the tooth, that's when you don't say nothing. If the oh, kid but, by five, six, let it ride. shut the fuck off. You know I know we know. Let that happen Okay, what about to be some shit at work? Explain that. Depends on how bad the yeah. other person want to kill the other person. I'll shut the, up. At, at work, okay. I had a general manager. Man, I'll say this nigga name. No, I won't because I don't know, man. I allegedly had a general manager named Will Williamson. The weird that's the weirdest name of the world. That's like having a name like Robert Robertson. Mm-hmm. His name was Will Williamson. That was my allegedly my general manager when I worked at allegedly this barbecue place allegedly on Winkler called allegedly Sunday's Barbecue. Oh, allegedly. Damn. <laughs> damn, that's a lot of legends. <laughs> These are all the legends. Hypothetically, this happened. These, this <laughs> hypothetically is a legend. My, my, my GM didn't do a fucking thing. Wouldn't do nothing. Like, had me doing extra shit. Gave me the assistant manager title and everything, but I wouldn't get assistant manager pay. I was responsible for assistant manager shit. Locking the door up at night, come open up in the morning type shit. Yeah. G- gave me responsibilities, but won't give me shit. Give me boyfriend title, but won't give me boyfriend boyfriend pussy. Hold on, man. I want to f- I want to fuck. Ho, you give me all these responsibilities like your nigga. I'm trying to fuck. So one day the district manager come in. District manager come in, pulling everybody to the side. Here I am, man. Pull me to the side. I got some shit to tell a bitch. Mm. But at that moment, I thought about it. 
an older nigga came and told me. He was like, hey, man, da, da, da. bro, watch what you say to a motherfucker around here, bro, because it's going to get back to a motherfucker sooner or later. And I done been, but, and at this time is when I just stopped selling dope and made a covenant with God that I never poisons people again with dope again. And that's why I was trying to work and transition. It was tough for me, and I'm coming from the street, so I know to watch certain shit already. So watch a nigga tell me don't say nothing. Hell, no, nah, I man, I've been waiting to tell a bitch about how the GM sit in his office all day. You know what? Why do I got to be the one to say it? And there's 30 other more employees gonna say it. Mm-hmm. They know they know that icy fucking up on the grill, but the GM don't say nothing because he come in on Saturdays all the time. But it make everybody else look Facts. bad. But, That's how but, I got in life. It, you feel me? So so at certain times you won't you won't you won't say certain shit because at, that truth don't need to be spoken about at that time. So shit happened, and then it came back that a certain employee said something about the general manager being in the office on the computer all the time, uh-huh. never helping, and they fired that <laughs> motherfucker. Now, and that it was the truth. Motherfucker don't ever do nothing. Because when the district manager comes, that motherfucker got his name tag on, walking around. I'm like, well, I ain't never seen you. I've never seen you this close to a dirty dish. Move around. I've never seen you this close Doing to a casserole. What? In here telling me what my corn muffins level need to be on. Puss ass nigga. You don't get your <laughs> gizzle lasagna muffin. body built ass on some well. Fuck wrong with this nigga ass, man. Lasagna. This is still hypothetical, right? All hypothetical. <laughs> oh. This is all alleged. This is all. This is all alleged. Theory, theory this style. Theory, right? This is theory this style. Is this is all theory style. Fiction. But I learned that a certain time, man. You ain't gotta always speak the truth on certain shit. Sometimes let that, it ain't none of your business. And um, Big Chris, one of my favorite artists. I speak about him all the time. He just got that southern soul to him. Starlito, Pimp C, Schoolboy Q. I love him. Walking certain artists, I just love and cock and relate, and I fuck with him. Um, but that nigga Big Chris said sometime one, one time he said my father told me everything seen ain't mean to be spoke on. Like it ain't just cause you see it and you know it's true. It, you ain't gotta speak on it. Sometimes it be known. Like me and Gabe know that we on the block chilling and we know that that's a known gay dude car, punk car, known punk car. And see this nigga pull up in the block in it. You ain't gotta say nothing. I ain't gotta say nothing. Gay J, we know, we know. I right, huh? Sell them whatever. And let them go and buy the business. Mm-hmm. Hypothetically, you on the block and some shit like that happen. Like you, it's it's un, it's already known. So you ain't got to speak on certain truths. I learned this. And then, like you say, some people get offended because who the messenger is, bro. This shit crazy. Just like that Facebook shit going around now. Is your man your man? They ain't tripping about it. They know they niggas. That's the thing, too. Niggas, y'all, your girl know that you out here doing your thing. Why must you embarrass this girl at the same time? Yeah. Here's, here's, here's my thing. You was on thing. there. I seen you. I was wishing I was on that bitch. That wow. would have brought my stock up, boy. Same, bro. Because you know what? Them girls be in your inbox. But as soon the as they time, see your face, mm-hmm. at the same time, that, oh, you that, laying down pipe, it, huh? Is that clout worth it? Hell yeah, because I thought I was a food boyfriend, and they ain't say shit about my name in that shit. I ain't, I ain't looking Sometimes. for my name to be mentioned. Please yeah, don't yeah. mention my name. You yeah, say no. anything about a little bit of a on there five yeah. times. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm not on there once. I know. I would have got phone calls. I'm not, I'm not on there once. My baby would not play that shit. She'd have been on my ass. Mm. But I, I definitely see that when they don't care because they know that they got doing whatever. It's just the messenger. It's how I'm deceiving the mess. Mm-hmm. I'm perceiving it through some messy shit instead of me finding out through my nigga already. Tell me you fucking with little Keisha and little little little, little Roland that from down the road. Cause now that I got to find out through a Facebook little little um group, now I feel some type of way. Right. Because so many people know now, it's not like it's, it's not more public. That's why stuff. I don't understand why dudes embarrass that girl. Why why do you why must you embarrass this girl? If you going and I never understood this too. If you live with a girl and you are cheating, why are you gonna bring this girl home to your bed? Like your girl sleeps there every night. You think she ain't gonna know it's something different about where she? Bro, I can walk. Bro, I, I I live for my by myself for for at least two three years straight, bro, and I could come home every day and I know if somebody's been in my house, I know if my girl would be there or not. I know if she would have came in and did. I just know, the the egg carton has moved to the left a little more than what it was. Like I just know, the toilet seat was down. Who the fuck been here, bitch? Like certain shit. That that's why like um. When, when you're dealing with an individual and you know that this old snake-ass creep nigga, there's no sense to try to make this nigga a home nigga. Like, these right. females. And why, if, me, why do females think that you, the last 10 females can change this nigga? Why she think she finna change Uncle Richard now? The last 10 girls can change him. Why, why she think she changing Richard now? When, What's wrong with Richard? Richard, you, you hard you to settle down? Hard to settle down? Uh <laughs> they, they, I, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be standing back, like, like, I'll step back game, like, it's too mm. crucial, bro. Like, what mm. make you step back from the hold on? Huh? You know what I'm saying? 
they really be they be actions. They be really they be really they be really think they are adults, and they really don't be adults. Like, what you yeah. mean? Like, like, that, like mentally, mentally, physically, twenty five. Re- re- just you know, throwing out numbers. Mentally, like eighteen. Theory style. Mm. Like you ain't never. Like you ain't never. Like you ain't never. You just bought bought yourself a drink yet. Like you just damn. Kind of, okay, kind of but now, now what do you mean by that? Because I, I done seen a lot of chicks who, hypothetically speaking, they Hypothetical. say they theory style, they 25, 24, you got your shit together, seeing they RNA might be a teacher, whatever. you got your shit together, you own some shit, got a little apartment off Winkler somewhere, off off of what, Colonial somewhere, you staying off of wherever, you got your little apartment, you got your little shit popping off type shit, you, you got, you take care of your kids, because everybody got kids nowadays, because mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm. fell for a fuck boy. Mm-hmm. Hold it, hold this, hold this, keep, keep a thought, keep a thought for me, keep a thought for me. I see posted something the other day, keep a thought for me, bro. You posted something the other day, was really factual. Uh, 80% of women are whores, 10% of women are good, the other 10%, but they're too busy, and the other 10% have been dealt with fuck boys, and they don't want to deal with nothing no more, and they're just straight with saying whatever. You posted that shit, I think you posted that, and he's right. And that's back to what I was saying. The girl could, um, you didn't hold me thought, but I didn't tell you to hold me thought reminded me of some shit. Some shit I also learned. For people who can't keep their minds up and shit, you can play mind games and tricks and shit to strengthen your brain if you have bad memory. Look, bro, I get on some other shit. Fuck y'all. They ain't keep telling y'all how I keep a strong mind. Because, nigga, fuck y'all. I'll be on some other shit just that quick. Somebody told me to. I appreciate everybody who pays attention to the shit, too. Nigga told me, like, bro, you jump for so much shit, bro, it be hard to keep up with you. But you know, I'm like, and I appreciate y'all. But um, back to what I was saying about she could be 24, 20, 25, hypothetically speaking. Have her shit together, take care of her little boy, little girl, whatever the situation. But like Richard said, mentally, she's 18. She think because she has all this, now she's going to do and treat you a certain way. Meanwhile, I have all this as well without the child, too. And especially in Richard's case, I'm young. I'm 30. I'm, I'm Richard has the age. He's 23, nigga, young. He he don't got to do with that shit. So I'm going to stop my livelihood and everything I'm doing to accept you and what you're doing. And now you're going to deal with me and talk to me a certain way because your mind frame is not of the age that you are. You're only of mature because you had a child at a certain age. And people think that having a child makes them mature. I don't have kids at all. Handling your responsibility makes you a gangster and makes you motherfucking mature. Mm-hmm. That's what makes you mature. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't understand that. They just think that it's because, uh, I, a lot of people think it's just because, oh, I'm I'm this age where I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Nah, that ain't, what it, ain't got shit to do with it. What, it. what it got to do with is your actual mentality. So like I'm saying, you could be 24, 25, but your kid taking care of everything. Gabe, they'll do shit to where now that they know that they know that they're almost the cream of the crop. Like, this is what a nigga desires. A girl got her own shit, going to school, working, car, whatever. You, you appreciate it. But now she's going to hold that kid in front of the rabbit and make yeah. you chase for it and work for it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's not obtainable because she has this thing in her mind of what she wants you to be. And that's this kid that this rabbit's chasing. It's not obtainable. You're yeah. not going to get that. You might swing one good way and nibble at it. And be a percentage. You can be 99% of the man she wants. She will leave you for that 1% or not. Yeah. That's what these women do. And that's what the, the immature mind frame is. Yeah. Meanwhile, like Country Wayne had a skit the other day um, speaking about older women and how Cougar's a treacher. The young girl was tripping about him doing certain shit. Meanwhile, the Cougar pulled up like, I understand, baby. You got to work. And you don't have this much time. And when you get home, they understand that I got to make sure that if you're accessible to me, I got to be um a, a, an accessory for you. It can't just be no... And not to say women are accessories like that, neither is a man, but if you got a lot going on in your life, a man should fall into rotation. Mm-hmm. If a man got a lot, a lot going on, you should fall into fall rotation. Into rota- yeah. If it costs you to be up to three or four o'clock in the morning, do whatever you got to do, bro, and the woman's like, come to bed, come to bed, hey, this is what I got to do, fall into rotation. If, and, yeah. if, and if you're not with it, you're not with it, because if women would do that to us, yeah. and that's the immature mind frame, because the mature mind frame is compromisation. Exactly. If you up to four, I tell you what, babe, two thirty, I'll chill it out. But a lo- and a lot of relationships fail because of it, because they don't see the fact. It's like, yo, because I'm staying up late, yeah. I'm am giving you the time that you had asked for early in the day. Because yeah. I could have been doing this work during that time and have time free for you now. Yeah. But because you don't want to be up now, I got to be up now. Once again, you know once again, then, and no one sees. And sometimes females don't see the sacrifice of like, yo, I'm sacrificing way more of my sleep, time, and health just to sustain your happiness. And keep keep what you also like your, your the lifestyle that, and, that we and have. once again that's high that that's kind of when the truth I'm trying to tell you the truth but I already know that you're not gonna understand it yeah and it's a damn if I do damn if I don't situation dealing with any woman it's gonna be hard to find a Coretta Sky and I'm pretty sure Martin Luther King had to compromise mm-hmm. hey look uh, nigga you ain't marching every motherfucking day nigga now hold on yeah. 
Yeah. And if y'all think Martin Luther King, man, look, I can let me not speak on it because I'm not a freedom. I'm not a civil rights. But man, it's it's documented. Martin Luther King was not the churchy nigga y'all think he is. There's audio of him telling Jesse Jackson, Jesse, get your ass up, nigga. There's audio of this. Yeah. Audio, what do you like? Martin Luther King. That, that's why I tell people about Prince and Michael Jackson as well. Like the the, the media gives you this persona. It's Nick Cannon kids. as well. He gets that persona. His dad started the Bloods. What are you What are you talking about? Nick Cannon daddy helped start the Bloods. Ain't nothing bigger than the nation. What do you? It's crazy. Lame, corny. Shut up. And I give. I won't give away no more of that man game right there. But uh, the truth is, sometimes needs to be submerged. And you gotta put the medicine in the candy sometimes as well, because if you tell somebody the honest truth, if they knew honest to God, if we knew honest to God when the world was gonna end, do you think people would act accordingly? They would go crazy. Know. That's why the media give you, that's why they hit the COVID shit for so long. And now the president's got it. How y'all feel about that shit? Yeah, they ain't got it. Okay. You think, I, I'm telling y'all, COVID's gone once the election's over with. Exactly. And all well, of a sudden, you got it. You might as well say it's going. Walmart done pulled them rails down. Yeah. It's it's easy peasy going. Hey, y'all ain't got to go to the fair, to the circus, to the zoo. If you want to go to do all that, all three in one, go to No Four Miles Walmart. Fact. I'm telling you right now, you're going to go to the fair. circus. You're going to the fair and the zoo. Fact. It's some elephant body built looking bitches in there. What? It's some circus at looking holes, boy. And there ain't nothing but a whole bunch of rides to go on that motherfucker. I go on this shit called the Grape and Donut Ride, where I eat one and I duck around the corner, make sure kids don't watch. I know the eye in the sky seems it's like a casino in that motherfucker. You got to be oh, careful wow. in that bitch. Yes, yeah, sir. Dana, Dana, Dana. You were also 11. I see some Space animals out yeah. there. Yeah. I ain't going to lie, though. How y'all feel about that Donald Trump shit, though? You think, um, do we need to go get uh Miss? Do we need to go get um the dude that the creator of the Simpsons yet? Do we need to go get him? No. Nah, I'll say we wait that shit out. Because if it go. happens, it proved that the Simpsons, whatever is happening in the in the in the world, the Simpsons have foretold it and just follow the Simpsons. If Donald What's his Trump, name? Matt Grogan? Yeah. What's his name? Matt Grogan, whatever. Something like that. Yeah. Matt Something like that. Yeah. Matt Grogan He Bro, knows he he 9-11, he predicted. on point. He predicted the damn Patriots fucking yep. Atlanta Falcons game, Yep, bro. winning that game, on point. Uh, Donald continue. Trump winning, on point. It's so deep that I watched, they got a show called Enchanted on Netflix. I watched it just because I know they're the creators. Yeah. I watched just like the, the person of the Lost City of Atlantis. Um, Bro, there's a fuck, I can't, I was just watching this shit. Uh, Rizzo Islam was speaking about the person who originally wrote, um, damn, the Lion King and shit like that. And this black lady, she was killed off about this shit. And about I forgot what was it? It, was, it might not have been Lion it was, King. It might have been some like other Timber shit. Timber the white white line. Yeah, it was Timber the white line. Some other shit. Like, yeah. bro, we be watching some of the same podcasts and shit like that. Man, shout out Joe Bud and Mall too. Y'all need to get the fuck back. I miss you niggas. This shit been boring. Man, this shit been boring. Boring as, boring as hell, man. Shout out to all the podcasts I do be fucking with though, man. Shout out to the Pat McAfee podcast. They be having me tripping on that motherfucker. But um, I was I was watching Joe Rogan podcast, man, and you see what I see, Ice, and you know what I know. You see it, you feel it. It it, it it's a feel. It's a feel. It's a feel, bro. It don't feel the same. The conversation's not even carried the same. The Ron White one made me feel like that was the last that we'll ever have the normal. That mm -hmm. Ron White combo, we'll never have no more. Bro, oh, yeah, I just, it, yeah. the, the rawness was not the same. And it's not, bro, Ron White is one of my favorite. I say it all the time. Bernie Matt, Red Fox, Ron White. That you can't fix stupid. That's one of my favorite because you can't. I love Ron White, but but just like seeing seeing how they were interacting, like it ain't just it just ain't. That's not. It's just, it just ain't, it just ain't there, and people know it. Um, and the reason why I know people know it, cause I'm in the comment section. Mm -hmm. I'm comment king when it comes to YouTube. Okay, in you. Instagram, Instagram, I can't pierce through too much. I can get a kiki here and there. Mm -hmm. Facebook, people know me too much or whatever, so they don't give me too much play. They know I'm just doing the wild shit. YouTube, I can get people to really go back and engage. YouTube, cause people are watching and they're going back at certain parts of this and shit. And then once you hit like. It, people, people don't understand. People will just scroll on a, on the comments just to see some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. So, I I do that. I do the same thing. Even if I'm watching a music video, I'm gonna go and scroll mm -hmm. down the comments just just for like a little scroll till the head stop. Like show more. I'm not gonna keep on going. And when I, I see that, I'm like, this nigga was snapping. He talking about some his, his why is that video edited like that? Like you know you know regular like yeah. trolling shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had a couple trolls. Like, I feel like I actually said this to me the other day. He said, "Yo, you're ready for comedy because you don't give a fuck about comments people say to you. Yeah, nothing. you gotta be like, ready. No. like it's it's nothing. Like, even when people like hit my my page, like one dude said some fuck shit. I did like Black Lives, Black Lives do matter. Blue Lives don't exist. Like you, 
you can you can quit being a cop, and then you're good. Yeah. You can't quit being black, and then yeah, some you can. dude. You can make it OJ level. Yeah. You quit being a nigga. That is fucking <laughs> true. But like, uh, some dude commented on it. That shit crazy. And like, I went in. Like, yeah. And, he, and like, people were like, bro, why are you doing that? You just feeding them. It's like, my nigga, this is what I do. I this ain't got, I I ain't got nothing that. but time. Listen, I got homeboys. I got funny. homeboys who I've grown up with. When I'm on that game, I'm a whole nother nigga, bro. I sick, am a sick, whole. Sicko. Young, I'm young a sick mode. ass nigga. I'm talking about some real pedophile shit. I'm talking about because why you said you're gonna fuck my mama? You're 12. Your little dick can't get hard. Get get away from my mama, you little sick fuck. Where's your sister, at, little motherfucker? She's still in the crib. Oh yeah, tell the little bitches that. Like, the motherfucker be like, bro, it's my sister. Bro, I'm a whole different nigga. I'm you took it whole, there. Like you, you started a, this. Listen, bro. I'm, I'm. Listen, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready. To, I'm ready. To, I'm ready to pull up to Utah and kill Jacob. I'm ready to murder this motherfucker right now. I swear, you fucking bot killing bastard. I swear to God, you little mother, boy. You some boy. When I get killed, and sometimes I be in the chat, but you can hear their shit cross over, and you hear some twelve year old fucking little kid. I'm all, yeah. Bro, I'm oh my god. I am fucking Hey no, some bitches kicked me out their shit the other day. I'm in a squad. <laughs> some girls like, hey, I'm marking shit like who the fuck marked the stadium? You soldier hate. That sounds like a dude. Get him the fuck out of here. I'm like, what? Wow. Oh, it was some hoes in his house. Yeah, what? Sexy. Hey y'all sexy. That's where we are. Fuck. Yo, so have you ever had some shit where like a nigga just turned up on you some, like on some views or some shit? Like I had a nigga do that on Call of Duty, like I was playing in match. He was like, You believe in God? I was oh. like, what? Oh, yeah. I was like, what no, you? No, I, I, this is what I had a nigga. Nigga tell me some shit about, hey, um, nigga tell me, hey, I'm going to send you a link. And as soon as you click on the link, I have all your IP information. I already know you live in Florida. I'm like, what? All he did was just put in 239. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you're in Lee County. I'm like, hey, bro, you going to come here? He's like, yeah. And if I do, you're going to give me a good time? I'm like, you know what? You come? <laughs> you I'm, th- I'm thinking about making you come. I, I'm gonna fly you out. You ever been flown out? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm telling bro, I'm like, you ever been flown out? My homeboys are dying. They're like, bitch ass, what the fuck? I'm like, you ever been flown out? <laughs> yeah. You ever had a nigga trick off on you before? And he's like, yo, I'm with all that, but can I come to Florida? I'm like, yeah, I'm with you coming to Florida. I want to tan your little cheeks. He's like, whoa, whoa. Hey, bro, you got it. You, these niggas are sick online, bro. You bro. got it. People don't understand. Monitor your kids online. Monitor because it could be niggas like me talking to them. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to them rough. I'm going to talk to them rough than the motherfucker. I just be muting. I just be muting my shit now. I'm going to talk to the little motherfucker rough. I got time for it. Listen, bro, I got to get to this, though, man. I seen this shit on Facebook, man. It says, do different girls bring out the different dick sizes? I told the motherfucker, yes. Because I've hit a bitch with them. Yeah. Then I hear the bitch with like, my dick ain't never been this big before. <laughs> what? Great job, little fella. Look at you go. <laughs> Great job. Going? And the bitch on talking about, she gonna jump my comments, talking about, no, I'm like, whoa, how? When females say pussy get wetter for certain niggas. Mm-hmm. So the true. dick get bigger for certain bitches. Mm-hmm. All right. I stand by, I stand by that statement. As the sun I goes stand. down, then my dick goes bigger. How many nuts can I bust up? Facts. <laughs> she want to fuck with a nigga named Snow. All right, that, hey, listen, bro, but I feel like y'all think that's true, though? Yeah, yeah I think she it is, yeah. Name yeah. If he's just certain girls, you, you still think about him, you just be like, yeah, bro, bro, I had you. this horrible, listen, man, shout out to Busy Crook, man. I will get busy, shout out, man. Nigga, you act like you don't fuck with me no more. I keep I'm this shit off camera. Bro, like yeah, bro, you ain't, nigga, you said, bro, let me show I keep it all off camera, but, boy, I keep it off camera. But shout out to Busy Crook, bro. I'm still a fan. I ain't a fan of this, nigga. Shout out my dog, Ab, too. I've been trying to, I wish that shit can always, whatever, keep all that off camera, too. But, bro, this nigga had a line in one of my favorite songs he got brought off his uh, Confetti Project. The nigga said, um, I, I had a hard time getting over you. I'm still searching Pornhub, girls that remind me of you. I'm like, bro, mm. when I broke up with a chick, i never forget. When I'm going through Pornhub shit, I, oh. when I was dating chicks, mm-hmm. I wanted to date chicks that resembled her. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've never dated slim chicks like that before, even like a petite chick. My first time like even dealing with this motherfucker, yo... Hello? 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 Hey, I don't... That my dog. That, that my dog, though. Sorry, motherfucker. I'm going to answer that phone for But um, But we we, we we was dating for a minute when we broke up, bro. I'm into big volusia. Big titty, big ass. I like a bitch my size. I like a... I can, come here. I like a bitch. I like a bitch my size type shit. I, li- I like a bitch my size type shit. 
So I, my first time ever dating a petite girl. I mind you, man, I've seen her around, and I'm I'm gonna tell y'all some weird shit. She used to drive my little brother a bus. So, so I go get my brother on, like, I've never, she only drove my brother on the bus, like, one time, and I never forget, like, I seen her. Substitute, substitute bus I, driver. Substitute, and I never forget, I'm like, damn, there's something about her, her wig was sitting on her head, and the way her neck was poked out like that, I'm like, there's something about this little bit. I didn't see nothing but just her face, because she's driving the bus. And I seen her torso, like, the body of, sitting on, like, just sitting up. So I don't know what she would look like standing up. I ain't know she was that small when we, she ain't short, like, about 5'5". Five, five. So after going through it, Fucking with a bitch, falling in love with a motherfucker, falling out of love and shit. When that period of stop dealing with somebody, even the chicks I was dating, I would wanted to resemble her. And I've never been into slim, petite women like that. I've never been into women like that. And I wanted to date. If you didn't resemble her, I didn't want to deal with you at all. And I felt like, because I tried to deal with another chick, like a thick ass, voluptuous bitch, and the dick wasn't getting as big as it was getting for the next bitch. Like, Shut the fuck. hey, dick was big old, dick was bigger for the next strong bitch. Back. Yeah, he got a strong back. He choking on that motherfucking dust nine. But, <laughs> yeah. but you ever, you ever yeah, experienced that shit, man? Like, a motherfucker, a woman can have an effect on you for a minute, bro. Yeah, yeah. She can really have an effect on you for a minute, boy. My ex fiance did. Oh, you was married, bro? Nah, fiance. Oh, you was engaged? Yeah. yeah. Still sucking shit. No. <laughs> 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 see how I got your homeboy, see? Crazy ass nigga. Out here doing this wild shit. Crazy ass nigga. Came to change, change the, the title. I came, I came to a senses, senses and asked for the ring that back. That real, that real. Paid the rent. <laughs> that real. So you still gonna live here then, right? Let me get that ring back. Look at Jit. Damn, I lost track of time. It's, it's all good, Jit. You know I love, baby. But oh yeah, she was one. Hey, you know I love, one. baby. Hey, but 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 has a woman? What's the worst effect a woman's had on you? Like, I was telling my cousin, she's the type of girl who's always in a fucking relationship, and it, it, it irks my nerves. Who who are you? Who is Gabe? You know who you are. You know who Gabe's stomach is. But who are you really? You just know what you like doing when you're around her. Right. Who are you? That's what I was trying to explain to my cousin, and she wasn't understanding, and it's the truth behind it. That's what, back to what I was saying, my original point. So, yeah, I get what you're saying. So, I guess she, she had the trait of, like, that, uh, like, the Huxable mom, who's uh, Claire Huxable? Claire. Claire Huxable. You know how she was with, with, with Bill Cosby, you know what I'm saying? How, like, mm. she was strong and shit. Like, my ex had that vibe. Yeah. So it was like that strong, independent woman. I like, love, a, I love a strong, independent, nurturing woman. Yeah, my, my, I'm saying. My, right, my right. main thing in that is nurturing. Yeah, she would. I love a nurturing woman. She would look out, make sure I cook the shit. Yeah. Cook foods that wouldn't kill me. Yeah. You know, make sure I would eat shit. And that's why when when you say better me, I don't mean put me onto your schemes you did to mm -hmm. get these million dollar homes. No, better me. How do you eat? What do you own? Yeah. Better me, bitch. I'm trying to live forever, motherfucking. Help I me, need you to survive, ain't it? Tell me to put some yeah. of that shit down, and I'll be fucking with you. Know it's fucking with me, bitch. Together. Help me build some credit, cause you know I'm fucking up and I'm buying everything Baby. cash. Oh, help me doing some I other love. shit, bitch. I, that's how you better, bitch. You. But Appreciate they be want a nigga to put him up on all that shit. Hold on, yeah. bitch. well let me go find one of the old hoes, learn the game, no, wait till she pass, and then come get your little young ass up, like bitch. Yeah. But no my cousin, cool she was she was getting on my nerve. Come tell him like, cuz you yeah. need to learn how to be by yourself sometimes. She'll go out of relationship, and this man like extra paprika and extra shit in his chicken. Now, at, well, so whatever, that's our ass chicken. Whatever, whatever the case may be, <laughs> and then she go, then she stop dating him, and three, four months later, you dating the next nigga who like certain Salisbury steaks cooked a certain way. So you don't ever know how you like your food, yeah. Because you never even season food for your fucking self, yeah. Because you're so worried about what this man like, what that woman like. Some guys don't know who they are. They know what they, who they girl, who their girl is, what their girl like. Mm -hmm. You think that you like asparagus and shit because it's on every plate you eat. You don't like that shit. You want some meatloaf, nigga. You want some motherfucking, you want some ground beef cake, nigga. You want ground beef cake with some ketchup frosting. That's what you want. You seen that post. That's, you seen that post. <laughs> that's what you really want. I was mad that's, at it, but that's I was like, what I you really. Fuck with me but it's the truth. So it's the truth. But we yeah, say it about the I truth. Still fuck with me Sometimes love. you don't want to say it, but it's the truth, man. But and and I thought about that before because a woman can have a strain on a relationship. So can a man. <laughs> a man could be around here chasing an image or chasing an idea of. You could have been fucked up about your ex fiance, and, and if you don't come to these certain standards, I don't want to deal with you. Yeah. I already got standards as it is. They lord in the motherfucker. But I but I got standards. My standards may be low, but I got some standards. <laughs> they 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 underneath my my haraches. Them bitches low, but I got standards. But knowing that, there are certain women that when they leave your life, that, that energy, that chem, that presence. Some women are really more than just your girl, your fuckhole, your 
Corey Holcomb would say, your cum bucket. Mm -hmm. Some girls are more than that. They really are your homies and shit. That's why I said when I broke my head, I was fucked up for a minute. When I don't talk to my girl now for an hour or two, I kind of be like, damn, I miss my dog. And it, I don't be on miss my girl. I really be missing my friend. So I know women go through that same thing with men. Like I had a girl tell me, she like, I've never dated a, a heavyset dude. I don't like chubby dudes, shit like that. And when I dated last time, I dated a fat boy. He was this and that. And I went back to dating little skinny niggas and this and that. Or dating little buff. She like, and I didn't, I remember why I stopped dating them niggas. That's when ran her back to me. So please keep fucking these women over. Because eventually they're going to be mm. back to me. laying on my fat ass stomach. See him wipe, wiping the sweat beads off the <laughs> forehead. Yeah. Talking about, babe, is that enough peanut butter on your fried jelly that, sandwich? That treadmill on right. reverse. Yeah. You hear me? Right back yes, to me. sir. We're going on, Val. Appreciate everybody tuning in. I had something else I wanted to get to, man, before we end up getting up out this bitch, man. I got a question, though, man. Have y'all ever been in the crib fucking all you late night? You, it's only you. It's, got, it's only you. don't hear nothing else rattling, shaking. I don't hear nothing moving around the house. You get up, go make a snack. 15, 20 minutes, the major snack. When I'm making a snack in the house, I'm scratching my chest. I'm making a snack together. I'm, you know what? I might want two pickles. You know what? No pickles. Fuck it. No pickles right now. Fuck it. Too late at night. Father. The snack have become a meal then? You hear me? You're like, I'm going to use the stove this You hear me? Time. And, 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 not, and not, now you you in love. You done made the snack. You got your plate. You got your napkin right now. You put your shit right here. Got your drink. Yeah, let me get right. Because you got to bring your drink with you in your cup. Yeah. You got to bring your drink in your cup. You ain't got no snack if you just got a drink. So let me ask you, is it like a one, like like groceries? It's one trip, right? Oh, it's one trip. It's one Bro, trip. Bro, I just stacked everything. I got a plate. <laughs> here go my napkin right here to make sure that my cookies don't touch my crackers. Because last time my cookies and my crackers, they was right there and they touched my bread. I don't know how the hell cookies got soggy off the bread. Bread is moist. I don't do that shit no more. Stack my shit. Well, this big nigga shit. Y'all might not know nothing about this real fat nigga shit. Stack your shit, and in my pocket I got gushes, so them secure, them secure. Jeez, and when I sit down, I'm gonna make sure I lean this way on the bed, so my drink. <laughs> I already got my cup. I'm putting that over there by the TV stand type shit. I'm ready, and I, my gushes in my pocket because I don't smush them before. Take them out, and I'm ready. Now I'm good and dandy. I ain't heard nothing in the last 30, 40 minutes. A bitch gonna make a snap right behind you. Yeah, bro. I don't know why I feel some type of way when a motherfucker make a snack right behind me. I just made me a snack. I could have made You it, weren't son. even thinking about a motherfucking yeah. snack. <laughs> you weren't even thinking about these sour cream and onions. Nothing, you know, I you made you something bitch. then. You know, bitch. You but if more. you flip it, but if you flip it, you hear somebody else rummaging around in the kitchen I ain't rude looking though, for I, a snack. I'm not rude. No, I'm going to wait. Oh, yeah, I'm going to wait. wait until you don't cool down. Come be like, nah, it's my snack time. Nah. Yeah. Now I feel like I was so I, I, I Now I'm hating on you. They you you made a grace period. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like, got no hesitation. That's right. I'm not taking a shower until a motherfucker. think of a snack. I got, I got to wait for the shower to drop a little bit. I got to wait for the toilet to clear off a little bit before I'm going to the bathroom behind the motherfucker. I'm just not. I just can't do it. Now nah, I got you on the on the toilet. In the same way with the snack. No. Same way with the snack. Same way with snack. Like, Gabe, I here's got the, you. I know. I see what you're doing. Here's the thing. I would, make a, I would make enough for like two. If I invite you to my snack. No, no, no. Like, I'll do it all regardless. Oh, because I'm big. I'll always right. make it. Yeah, 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 so yeah, then yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll be like, yo, just just, make extra I had a, I had a motherfucker <laughs> question me. A motherfucker no see my see my plate and said two sandwiches. Hell yeah. I ate in the other room. I didn't like the energy. Yeah, I, I yeah, ate in the other room. What? I didn't like I'm that not energy. The only one. Bro. I did not like I'm that like, energy. You don't what? judge me on what I got on my plate. Richard, a nigga ever seen you? Richard, nigga ever seen you with, with two pop tarts? Like, bro, I'm going to eat all, all four, four of them. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Matter of fact, you right. I'm going back put them in a toaster. You right. You That's fucking they should be you, crisp. You fucking right. I don't like the energy in here. Toaster tarts. This is low calorie energy. I don't like this. Yeah, no, this I is sugar free that. energy in here. I don't like this. This I is uncar this is uncarbonated energy in here. I don't like this. I need to go around some Sprite. I need to be around some cream soda. I don't now, like I don't like the energy. I do have a flip side though. I do be angry when niggas be going for seconds on some shit I cook when I want that. You know what I mean? Like I made I made hamburger helper. What about the last? You know, but I actually took the last of it. Oh, so this person. <laughs> <laughs> the last. You did have of sex. It. But personal. I took a small portion. Hey, this person. Of Facebook. This person, y'all. You took cat's portion. I don't want to get in it. We have. Facebook. She went in one more. more. <laughs> right. So Facebook. This one. West B. Facebook. I figured you would split cat's portion. West B. Facebook. With me. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't split cat's portion if cat ain't want it though. 
You just took Cat's portion and made your portion double. Playboy. And so I was low key angry. Playboy. Boy. I got a nigga cooked Play it. Boy. Yeah. And so yeah. I figured I should be thought about the like, hey, egg. But Playboy. Yeah. Water, but and it can can always be the little niggas. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right? Yo, hold on. Hold on. Nah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's you another thing. All calories. Go ahead and get your piece out. He Come did. It was just, it was, Can't it was you got my piece? Time. No, this is the second time. That was the second time. First time he made he made Cinnabons, right? Oh, this is a recurring pattern. It's oh, the second time shit. though. I've oh, this is this is who he shit. is. I've this is who he is then. Yeah. It's, it's some <laughs> fat. It'd be, it'd be <laughs> hey man. So he he made Cinnabons, right? He ain't even preheat the oven. He just threw turned it on and threw the bitches so in. So they done at three thirty. So they ain't even done it. They dry and crispy. I ain't say nothing. I watched oh, the process. It, right? Let it ride. Because Cinnabon going to eat. They're Pillsbury. They're going to smack. They're going to smack regardless. I'm fat, yeah. nigga. I don't care they're a little crispy or not. You know, it's fine. Okay. Don't ruin my, don't ruin my he, snack, nigga. He drizzled. I'm crisp. hyped now, right? Yeah. And they were like flavored Cinnabons, like Ooh. strawberries. It was it was some fire he picked. It so only come like, eight in a pack with them. I gave some cooking advice. Hey, what you gonna do? You gonna you ain't gonna preheat it? You ain't just gonna toss them right in? Yeah, I like them crispy. So you I don't said, right, you don't toss them. You boy. And so then and then it gets to the icing part. He drizzles the icing, drizzles it so it looks presentable, honorable. Presentable. You know, thank you. That throws the icing away. Thank you. The look. The snap of the neck. Bro, <laughs> the you threw the ice. Bro, I've never in my 30 years away, of living. Bro. My mama, my Extra mama. Extra icing listen, away. I, I would have to fight half of my cousins, bro, <laughs> if they were just to throw the cornbread mix away. You, you know what I'm saying? What? Bro, like, I got to go around here twice and then run my knuckle through the bottom of the bowl. Bro, I was like, bro, it's a, I'm big. How you how I can eat coochie good? It's I'm like a here, refrigerator junk item. You just have icing in your fridge. You just be having icing. You, you, why are you even... Why are you throwing icing cups? Ran, fresh. Uh, random cake. Fresh Pillsbury icing. And All then right. other people random, came random and got the bun. Cinnabon let him right. looking let, for the same let, fucking let, icing. Let him defend himself. Now we got to say I messed up on the cinnamon okay. buns. All yeah, right. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. But on the hamburger helper, icy, I feel like that was an equal 50 50. Because what? here's the thing okay. she hit me up, and then I told her what she should bring. Ooh, so dog. I added that. That's a finder's fee. Hold on. Even no. though you cooked Hold it. Hold on, though. Finder's fee. You, this nigga thug. Finder's, fuck a finder's fee. There's finder's fee. I'm game stomach. Here. I'd have made hamburger helper without ground beef, bro. What? Trying I understand that. This but nigga but I made hamburger helper understand. without milk, and she came back. This Look, nigga's a beast. But the th so, thing about it is, you got to understand how the she connection come happened. If nothing, I'd have made hamburger helper. This you know what? Let me, pull, let me pull my trump card. Uh -oh. I made EX3. Boom. Shut that shit up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, if it wasn't for me, none of this wouldn't be happening. Hey, look, bro, I hold, I hold oh, up, seen some niggas arguing, right. bro, ready to fight. Look, <laughs> look, look, bro, these niggas are ready to fight. These niggas are brothers, ready to fight. Niggas so wet by that by the <laughs> nigga for real. Nigga blood thicker than water. Nigga stood up, so I don't give a fuck, nigga. Cheese thicker than lettuce. <laughs> Cheese <laughs> thicker than lettuce. I said, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? Niggas is bro. Nigga with dead ass. That's a fat line. Nigga with dead ass, ready to fight. Nigga said, nigga. Yeah, I, nigga you gotta be in the water, nigga. You gotta be. You gotta be. Niggas, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You gotta be in the Cheese thicker than lettuce, nigga. I only helped him. I only helped him make the LLC. He, he did create that real pussy ass. Without EX3, we wouldn't be able to tell ice to fuck him. I made it the LLC, though. I made it the LLC. Without EX3, we wouldn't be able to tell ice to fuck him. It was a thing before before me, so yeah, he did do it. We made a bitch come up. We made it come up with EX3. Say EX3. Hey man, we need our picture sausage thing out there on the thing too. I'm gonna see you the one to put out there too. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause shit hard. Hey, and shout out, uh, Lady Lady Joe. Don't want to know what it's called, EX3. Oh, it's Entertainment Times Three. Entertainment Times Three. I watched the whole city before I started. And I was like, I can do it right. two times better than that. two times. Yeah, we need our shit out there. And if you guys would like to get y'all um, business promoted on some of our monitors we have out here, uh, hit just us contact up. the ES3 oh, Network. Yeah. Let me hit you um, with that and if you guys oh, need, yeah. And if you guys need anything, um, holla at lady. Do I don't know. That's bite down because um, when you have a, tw it's called a 20 wall. Um, well, damn, hood. Let me get a little Pickle Sausage Chronicle. Look, Boom, on hit us with a list. Um, Pickle so Sausage Chronicle fat. fat. <laughs> Pickle fat, Sausage Chronicle fat. Lilla de la fat. Um, when you bite down, that comes from a Florida term called bite down. That means you have a 20 wall, which means you have gold, 20 gold, 20 teeth gold from wall to wall. 
that means I, every tooth is there to go. And you can't go all the way back with gold all the way unless you got permanent teeth all the way. And you can only have 18 or 20 or 24 karat gold for permanence, and you got to be certain gold. Um, I'm not a jeweler. I'm not for sure about this. But that's why they bite down, but to show that all your teeth back here are all my shit. I got all my shit and all my shit gold. That's why niggas used to call bite down and show your wall. Shit like that. It's certain lingos like that and shit like that. Like you wearing glasses. Some of them call them stunner frames. So down here, we used to call them hater blockers. Hater blockers. I heard of hater yeah. blockers. I got my hater yeah. blockers on. I got my hater blockers on. You can't that tell me nothing. <laughs> I got my hater blockers on. That was my, my shit. I, got, I thought that was you rapping. Yeah. Hey, man, I got to get some shit real fast before we get up out this motherfucker, though. Hey, I had a motherfucker say... Drake legit never has any women coming back for seconds. Mm. No woman has ever claimed Drake. Mm. And have you seen the latest debacle? 21 Savage just dropped the project yesterday. Pretty decent called Savage Mode 2 with Metro Boomin. Long live Bank Road Fresh. Mm. The nigga um, got a song with uh, Drake on it. Um, let me make sure I get my facts straight because I'll be around here just rambling and shit. And I'll be down there knowing what I'm talking about just off the top of the dome. Nigga, I'll be snapping. It's called Mr. Right Now. Not Mr. Right, Mr. Right Now. I mean, uh, shout out Mary J. Blige had a song about that. Me and Mr. Wrong get along so good, that shit, but Mr. Right, Mr. Right now. Um, Drake line drop Scissor. And this is some weird shit too though, cause Drake says uh, uh, she wanted to listen to Scissor, but I was like, I used to date Scissor. You still want me to play that Scissor? She was like, yeah. So we made out the Scissor, we did our thing, or whatever, some, some along Something the line that. of that. Um, That's weird. So with, with him doing that, with, with, him, with him doing that, he knew that um, mentioning Scissor name was gonna bring up some shit. So now that he's doing this, he he's also mentioning years ago when they dated when Scissor was like 17, maybe 18. Mm. Mm. Drake's mm. been on some weird shit for years. I fuck mm. with Drake, and the reason why I say this is because I watched Drake for years. That's how I know he be on some weird shit. I study. There's two people I really study a lot when it comes to this hip hop shit. Um, I really I really study Drake. Cause he's really, really, really masterminded this shit like a motherfucker. And I study the fuck out of Damon Dash. Cause Damon Dash is who you want to be, but you don't want to go his route, but his route is the best way to fucking go. Independent. But the way I made it was so crazy. And he's the one that looked at stupid when the Rockefeller shit happened. He looked at like the hater. Now he looks at like the fucking, the all foreseeing one. You knew yeah. the what was it, type shit. Um, damn, I had lost it. Oh, but about Drake. Now Drake, he's always like he was on Gabby Wilson, uh, who's now uh, her H E R. Her's only what 23, 22? She's very young. Gabby Wilson is one of the most. Her is one of the most. It's hard saying her as in speaking of her and shit. But her, if people who know, you know, she's really good. Um, she's one of the most talented young girls out. I love her with the big hair, the big glasses. How she's nostalgic, the big coats and shit. It just something about when you you're a petite woman and you know you got frame to you and you wear the big shit, the baggy. Some sexy, but Aaliyah used to do it a lot. Some sexy, but I just, yeah. I really think that. And I think it's dope when you see a woman who could throw a baseball cap on with a ponytail hanging out the back with yeah. a fucking Steelers jersey or a fucking mm -hmm. Miami Dolphin jersey and, and, and so look fine. Yeah, it, yeah, it's cute as shit with, with some Air Forces or some ones on or some Jordan. What? Whatever you rocking, some some vans or whatever. Okay, I think. Okay, mom. But you hear me? Okay, little mama, you done described little baby to the T. At this point, you could be the ugliest bitch in the world. At this point, but you you're you're um Man. ensemble. How you presented Crazy. yourself? No you makeup me? too. You, you hear me? Man, gay, but bitch might like you just off your ensemble. Bitch might like you, bro, just off of what you. Oh, you know what? He ain't like Lila Dilla Larry. He don't got 30 some chains on. He ain't got all them fake ass braces on. He might be on. No, I'm gonna holler. He look low key. Meanwhile, he might be more high key than I am. I might be more. <laughs> I just, you never know. This might be an act. I kind of might be acting like this an actor. I might be acting to get paid. Pay me for acting. That's what you could do. But when I see the nigga Drake on some shit, he really be on some. Cause he's tapped into a lot of shit. He's tapping in. Richard, we know he's tapped. He's tapped yeah, in. Tap, in, that, tap, tap, tap in. He's tapped in. But he mentioned something about Scissor and a nigga made a meme like, well, Scissor ain't never claimed you. We would have never known, except for people who listen to the music. Would have never known unless you said something. And Drake was on some, they feel like, you know, you ain't never been claimed by nobody, G. You know, he's been with the Serenas, the Jennifer Lopez's. He's name dropped them and shit, you know, but niggas feel like, hey, ain't nobody ever, ain't, ain't nobody ever claimed it. Even like the Rihanna's. Like, remember, like Rihanna, nobody's ever claimed them. So what kind of history is it good to say that you got all this and you ain't never did certain shit? Boy ain't put, that boy ain't putting in work. Yeah. He, he only put in work on a model. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to get ready to rest it, uh, wrap model, it up. The model going to put out. The model. <laughs> that's why do you think that's why he had that baby by old girl he, like you had no choice once you got a, and then 
I tell a lot of people, lame niggas who've never had money and never had attention, when they get money and attention, they just go to fucking all these girls who are niggas with money and attention already been fucking. Mm-hmm. Like, there's girls who will try to spin a block on Uncle Rich and now that we get this shit popping. I'd be like, uh, watch yourself, boy. Hey, she used yep. to be out here. I right, chill. Somebody, and then you also got to watch, Richard. A nigga come tell you some shit about your girl. I had a situation recently. Me and my dog talking about some shit. And nigga talking about what? Nigga just overhear our conversation. We here talking. Nigga over there overhear our shit. What? Oh, you talking about such and such? Oh, yeah, that ain't. And then a bitch got something to chime in about it. The, the nigga might not want me with her. And the bitch might want me with her. So you got to watch shit because a nigga like me fighting insecurities every day, I'd be on some, damn, she might do be right. My bitch might do be on, man. But yeah. people, they don't even want your position. They just don't want you in that position. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about if what I you. I can't have it. You ain't going to have it. Thank you. That's so so with this shit being spun around the block, I be telling Rich, like, hey, Richard, you, I'll tell put you on game, but that, what I say ain't, ain't law. Yeah. She might be the one for you, but I know she was the one for five more niggas just a couple weeks ago, too. So, um, But she might be the one for you now. Hey, they talking about you can't turn a whore to a housewife. I done seen a lot of hoes get in the house and turn that motherfucker upside down. Make the house look pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Hoes are probably the best housekeepers I've ever seen. I'm t- Y'all need all these That's married that. women are the whores. This is my logic. Before we get up out, this is my logic about being a whore. Only married people can be whores. Because if you're not married, you're not technically cheating on a fucking thing. Facts. Technically. Only whores are married. I like your logic. It holds up in court. That's it. That's all the logic I have. And with that being said, man, rest in peace to all the conversations that died after you told the motherfucker what your price was. (laughs) (laughs) Tell your mammy, let me hold some, bitch. That's what you can do. You ever heard a motherfucker energy just change after you tell a motherfucker, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's what I try to literally let them. No, your price is. Like, <laughs> I, you feel me? I know Sam probably fuck with me. When he told me his price of that shit, I kept my energy because I know this shit is stupid. I know I paid for shit smaller and bigger than that and how much the price is to yeah. know he hidden. Hey, shout out Sam. He's got some dope shit out dope, there, man. He definitely shit. got some shit. Uh, and I had to get up on this thing. Uh, this kid Cole Sprouse had was on Twitter the other day going off. If you know Cole Sprouse, you know him from uh, Sweet, Life. Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, the little twin brothers. Um, that was the other kid, the K- KJ Apple kid. And he was going at him. He's like, at 17, he's like, bro, I look like he's like, I was cut the fuck up. He's like, at 17, I would have kicked your ass or whatever. He's like, at I 17. Kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, at 17, you couldn't have you couldn't got off my bank account. Like, my bank account was, <laughs> like, it's, that's one of the best comebacks ever. You Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You can't show ice. You can't You can't beat it. Because at 17, he looks like Richard at 17. Jesus Christ. But look what his comeback was. You a fuck about you being that big. He's going to shoot his Still can't touch my wallet. Right. You wouldn't be able to lift my wallet. But you know that's a kid. He's a Disney kid. Those Disney, they, they got it. They can talk that shit. What, on, what, what, what's one of the biggest flex you can use? Like if somebody does you, like you said, bro, you had a back and forth with a motherfucker. What's a flex you can use with somebody? I don't know flex. Like that, I do action. No, but but I'm saying as far as like when you try to get, when they try to play chess with you online with these comments and shit, you just be like, because I'll troll all day, but at no, a certain I, point. I'm, I don't work I'm a the fi- job I'm a that find I need. Some, yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm dig deep. I'm going I'm to be back like seven minutes later. Well, mm. I'm going to have some shit for you. My, my usual, just trying to make a nigga delete their Facebook. You know my usual saying? thing is like I don't need a nine to five job for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd be like, cause I I've always been an entrepreneur, so it's like y'all niggas stay out here they're trying to live from check to check. Damn. That's you. I do it to either get me or turn it. up, get drunk. It's a supply of habit. And then it's kind of it's kind of smart because then I'm not spending the money I'm earning mm-hmm. from residual income. I'm. Spending my time working a job that I'm using the body drugs Man. to chill. Yeah. And meanwhile, like, meanwhile, you out here stressing and going to the bathroom on your break to send me this comment and reply back. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you doing. Hey man, I gotta get the fuck up out of here, man. <laughs> I got one more uh get get to I did see this shit on the internet. Motherfucker said, uh, I wanna do 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 women sneaking fuck fat niggas like niggas sneaking fuck <laughs> fat bitches. <laughs> 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 hey, right. I see. I seen that shit, bro, and then I was scrolling. I seen a meme of a butterfly at a tattoo shop, and the artist like, what do you want? He said, I want a tattoo of a fat bitch. Mm. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> Gabe, the level of that comic strip was hilarious. How 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 funny shit can be with so many words. I'm glad Twitter condensed shit and, like, uh, what was that? that? That quick shit that was 15 seconds a couple years ago. 
Vine. Remember, oh, Vine yeah. was I do it for the Vine. It's on the 15 seconds. It's condensed because your, your your memory span. So when you go through a meme, and some certain shit's gotta shock you right then and there. Like I seen a meme said, uh, I made two niggas cry today. My goal is 10. You niggas gonna pay for what Ike did to Tina? <laughs> <laughs> That shit, bro. That shit is funny, bro. Some people savage level, bro. Hey, man, we got to wrap it up. Get the fuck up out of here, man. Oh, I got my boy Gabe and his bitch. Gabe, stomach everywhere, yep. dinner, everything, man. Shout out to the TV nerds, man. We going to come on a bit sooner or later, man. I don't know who channel you. Shout out for this chef, man. I'm taking a bit shit. This is my personal chef. Shout out to my boy Ice on the boards. Uncle Richard, man. Jit going to be back in a bit soon, man. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Lila De This has been the Pick Sasha Chronicles, and we are out this motherfucker. We might be in this.